came to the United States in uh, 1985, working uh, as a carpenter. In 1995, I met my wife. And Little I baby me! Oh my God! My daughter <laughs> Stephanie. Ah, uh, that was that was crazy to watch. While I was editing it, it was actually kind of fun, and I really enjoyed like putting the pieces together and having like a finished product. It was both difficult but fun at the same time. <laughs> I actually never thought I would be into filmmaking at all. To me, it was just like all a surprise, like a wonderful, happy surprise. Like before Real Works, I thought I was gonna be like a lawyer or like a politics, like in politics or something. Then I got into Real Works and I was like, wow, you know what I mean? I can like, you know, be creative and make a living out of it. As a teenager, I just remember doing so much like cool stuff. Like I built up my resume a lot, built up skills, my connections, I learned a lot. So it meant a lot to me because like, it kind of like made me who I am today like, in terms of like what I want to do with my life. In Cambodia, four leaders of the Khmer Rouge finally went to trial. They've been charged with war crimes, crimes against humanity, and genocide. The charges stem from incidents way back in the 1970s. Seven years old. You know. Long hours without pay. Pay me like a uh, two bowls of rice a day. You know. And only lunch and uh, dinner, no breakfast. for the day, I got half a bowl. And if you don't go for two days, and they don't feed you, and they don't give you no food. Three days you don't go, they're gonna kill you. you know? Like three, three million people got killed for five years he ruled the country. I worked for the Popot when I was seven years old. I was my first boss. They took us to the uh, to a village, the jungle, and work. We were isolated places. Uh, um, it's like closed out everything, everything is like um, there's no electricity, no TV, it's like nothing, it's like no time, just keep working, you know, um, 
what time it is, you know. You just know sunrise and sunset, but you know it's dark. People got sick. You know, enough food, they work so hard, the medicine. It's not easy. My name is Lian. I was born in 1968 <coughs> from Cambodia. They provide us a spoon and uh, I always hang it on my neck because uh, when the bell ring and I'm going to be there where the lunch room it'll be there very quick because the food could run out and uh, they give us only one spoon uh, if we lose it we don't have any more uh, spoon they don't give, give us any more. One of my friends, uh, he got killed. Because he never saw up to work and uh, he just killed him. I asked my friend and they said they escaped somewhere else. And I know it's killed. Never come back. One of my friend's sister also got killed. Um, after like a two months, three months, they're looking for all over for a body, and I found her in the in the jungle. Her body. Vietnamese in Cambodia, um, the purple soldier came to the village. It was like a, it was like a, in the winter time, and he carried gun in the village, and then um, he left the gun in the house, and then he came down to the um, to sit next to the fire in front yard. And then the villager uh, just uh, chop him up uh, with knife, with, uh, stick everything, and kill him, and drag him down to the Mekong River with the boat and, and throw him down to the river. And I was so sad because uh, I was like um, 11 years old. I saw someone got killed by the village and um, of me so young you have a nightmare all the time for a very long time every day you got shot from people dying we escaped we reach uh, uh, Laos border seven people they carry gun knife and some gold, you know, and then he brought us to the Laos border. If you don't know them or you don't have gold to give to them, and uh, maybe they kill all of us. Uh, I don't have any picture that uh, I couldn't see myself because I really don't have anything. No photograph, no nothing. Uh, uh, first time I saw myself on the mirror when I left Cambodia. So <laughs> it's, it's first thing my childhood, you know. 
working in the United States in uh, 1985, working uh, as a carpenter. In 1995, I met my wife. And 97, I got uh, my daughter Stephanie. If you liked this video, make sure to hit like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date with all of our RealWorks YouTube videos. And don't forget to watch the films of the next generation of filmmakers.